Welcome back. This is going to be a fun video because we're going to Assateek Island National Seashore and there is so much to see and do. This right here is a campsite. There are some wild horses. We go and explore the entire campsite. And as always, I answer that million dollar question. What exactly are you going to expect? Is it worth your time? And most importantly, is it worth your money? Again, there is a ton to see here and do. So I can't wait to unpack this episode and show you all of the adventures that are going to come next. This is the ride into Assateague, and as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. If you are a nature lover or photographer, you are in for a treat. Now, while Assateague Island is absolutely beautiful, unfortunately, it is not free. It doesn't cost a great deal to get into the park, especially if you just want to go there for a day. Now, if you are driving, it's going to cost you. However, if you are biking into the park or simply walking, it's absolutely free. As we were driving in, we came across what's really iconic for Assateague, which is wild horses. And one of the great things is that we came across a bunch of wild horses all at various times. There are a lot of different ways to camp here and behind that sand dune what you're looking at is actually the ocean and this is the first parking lot we came across and what's in the parking lot? Well, there are wild horses. Now, these wild horses have a lot of rights in this park, which means that if you bring your food, you need to make sure you have a cooler or something that can be locked because the horses will literally go into your campsite and they will eat your food. And if you're on the beach, they will eat your food and there's nothing you can do about it, but just literally stand there, watch them and maybe take a photograph or two. But if you are bringing food, which is perfectly fine, you have to make sure it's locked up. Now, if for whatever reason, the horses manage to get to your food, remember, do not attack the horses. These horses are wild. That can be dangerous for you and you can also get fined. Now, I don't want to scare you about the horses. Generally speaking, if you leave the horses alone, they're going to leave you alone. Now, let's go ahead and get to the beach. The biggest reason, the biggest attraction in coming to Assateague Island is the beach. And in the summer months, the beach area actually fills up pretty quickly. All the campsites usually get filled. So what we're looking at right now in the distance, and we're going to go over there a little bit later, is the actual campsite. The sand is absolutely beautiful. It's white, it's fluffy, and it's almost unflawed. It's a very natural environment. This is one of the greatest kept secrets in Maryland. So if you're here, you're going to have a terrific time. One of the downsides about being at Assateague, if there is any, is that it has rip currents. It's not always present, it's not everywhere, but you have to keep your eyes on your kids. Normally, if you're at Ocean City, which is just a short drive away, there are rip currents there too as well, but there's a lot of people, a lot more eyes to wash your kids if they're in the water. Um, but here, you see there are no lifeguards. Um, the beach right now is pretty much empty, so if you're in the water, you have to be careful. As you get closer to the, uh, the water, it gets sand turns from a nice white and it gets a little shelly. And then as you get to the actual water, it, then it becomes nice and, and powdery again. There is really not much to be said here. Just a beautiful uh, beach. Uh, not going to be disappointed as you can see there's not a lot of people here right now so there are times when you, you know you can come here and it's completely different than say ocean city even when all the campsites are filled up the beach is still quite i wouldn't say empty but it's very manageable now let's go ahead and head on to the campsites um, the campsites are not very expensive. For $30, you can literally wake up on the beach. Now, each campsite, they have a, a table, like a bench. The bench has a locking mechanism. That's because the horses, if you're on the beach and you're sitting there with your stuff, will literally walk up to you and start to eat your food. And there's nothing you can do about it. So there's a lock, locking 
container beneath this bench right here where you put your food in there and you lock it up because again the horses will get to it it doesn't really lock but just closing the door makes it nearly impossible for the horses to get to it there is a fire ring here and that's the only place they want you to make a, a fire and i'm just going to turn the camera around so you can get a 360 degree view of exactly what the campsite looks like the biggest downside about camping on the beach is that everything you need on the beach you're gonna have to haul it from your car now this right here is not um, is not your parking lot this parking lot is for people who want to basically camp right next to the car like these folks are doing right here So again, this is the ocean side camp sites. And the good news is whether you decide to camp on the beach, the, uh, the ocean side, which is what you're looking at right now, or bay side, it's all the same fee. And you can see there's a lot of campers here. Now there are a couple ways to get around. Of course, you can always use the Shoe Leather Express, but I highly recommend if you have a bicycle, that's the best way to really kind of explore and see the area, especially if you want to catch some horses. Uh, you can always walk and you can always drive. I think driving is probably the most inconvenient because you, it's just to me, you just don't really get a chance to see the campsite in all its glory. But this is really what the Oceanside part of Aspe Camping looks like. Uh, the structure you see in the back, that's the bathroom. We're going to take a look at that in just a minute. This is what the bathrooms look like. And in just a little while, we're going to move over to the bay side and take a look at what that looks like. We're going to take a look at the campsite uh, in the Bayside area quite up close. Now, if there's one thing I would say that I don't like about camping at Assateague is that it can get a little buggy. What I mean by that is um, there are times of the year and it's hard to predict when, but you will have a bug mass infestation where you're just almost like chased out of town because the bugs are all over you. Um, but for the most part, most of the year, it wasn't a problem. The times that I have been there, um, for the most part, not a problem. There are a couple times where that was really an issue. As you can see in the Bayside Camp area, you're going to get this uh, electrical box and it has multiple electrical jacks as well as two regular plugs. They give you the picnic table and the storage area underneath to put your food. Put your food in this area because the you know, the horse will, horses will come by whether you're on campsite or not, and they will go through your stuff and chew up your bag and all that kind of stuff. So you don't want to deal with that. Use this storage area. Each campsite comes with a fire pit as well as a flat area for you to lay your tent. Uh, some air campsites, in my opinion, are better than others. If it backs up to like an open area like this, I think it's absolutely beautiful to wake up to that. And you can do traditional camping, uh, but you can also, you know, do a, you know, a, a fifth wheel or a trailer. Um, you know, whatever you do, it's really set up for every type of camping environment. And in this area, right in the center, uh, is the bathroom, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. You may recall earlier I said to bring a bicycle. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that because I think using a bicycle is the absolute best way in order to explore all that Aztec has to offer. Also, I definitely recommend you bring a kayak and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that because there is a absolute beautiful place for you to go kayaking and we're gonna show you all that in just a minute. Now, this is the bathroom area that we're in right now and there is a shower connected to it and there's water. The water is drinkable, so don't worry about you know bringing your water um, um, you know, from outside, you can absolutely uh, use the water at the campsite. Now it's about time for me to do a shameless plug for my channel. For those of you interested in doing things in the DC metro area, especially in Maryland, uh, please take a look at my channel because I have dozens of ideas, uh, new areas that you can visit, campsites to explore, areas to, to see. Um, that are just spectacular, in my opinion, the best that Maryland and DC has to offer, so check it out.
just a short bike ride away on the other side of Aztec Island, we have this area right here. And as you can see, the water is nice and calm. It is absolutely perfect for kayaking. And the water is, you can see how clear the water is. And it's just, in my opinion, the best kept secret in Maryland. Now, if you don't have your own kayak, not to worry because the trailer we saw right behind it is a area that you can rent kayaks and the prices are pretty reasonable. Um, but if you have your own kind of kayak, why not save the money and just bring it? Now there is a bunch of things that the outfitters rent. Uh, they rent kayaks, uh, either single or uh, tandem. They also rent canoes, uh, paddle boards, and bicycles and you can rent them by the hour or by the day and the most expensive is going to be $70 a day for the paddleboard and the canoe. Now I said hey look take your bikes and this is why because you get to bike around Aztec Island and they have some wonderful uh, wetlands area and this is what it looks like uh, and this is right now is in the middle of the winter so you can only imagine what this spring and summer is going to look like it's a lot more green a lot more lush and it's just absolutely beautiful now for those of you who are wondering i received no compensation for the state of maryland or aspeak island to make this video i simply make it because it's an absolutely beautiful place and i want to encourage people to go out and see the world as I am leaving Aztec Island, what do I run into? Well, some more beautiful wild horses. If you ever get the opportunity to visit Aztec Island, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your experience there was like.